Hi, this is my first vlog, or vlog, in our new office slash studio. And little by little, I'm gonna take you on our journey. Yes. I'm excited about it. Angie's excited about it. We're in downtown. Downtown has like its own kind of energy. We're gonna do some saging to clean it out spiritually and energetically and energy wise. And we're gonna do like a little incense ritual to bring money and abundance into this office and space and studio. We're about to sage our new office. Sage to purify the air, clear any bad energies that were in here before and allow all the good energies to come in. And she, oh, you can't say hi, you don't want to say hi. And she has really nice hair today. She has beach waves today. <laughs> <laughs> More like Mufasa. <laughs> this is my second time saging. <laughs> the first time was last night <laughs> in my house. And it didn't even smell like anything. To me, it smelled like charcoal, but... Okay, so we're gonna come with me, Hail Mary. We're gonna sage the place. So this is one room. This is gonna be our office room. Now it smells. Yeah. Do you want to say something? I think you just gotta think good thoughts. So that's one room. And here's our other room where I'm gonna set up my podcast area. Beautiful window. This is gonna be the podcast area. So super sage it. Super sage. I'm gonna set you down. In the office area, we are going to, we're going to smudge incense. This little kit I got from this place called House of Intuition. And it's the, hold on. Angie, can you move? Because you're like in the, <laughs> there you go. I was just in the nest here. <laughs> Angie, can you just participate? <laughs> You want me to participate? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is the money oh, and abundance smudge kit that promotes abundance and financial gain. We're gonna put that in the office area. Careful. So in the kit comes an abalone shell. You put sea salt in the abalone shell because it's gonna what I learned is that the salt takes on the heat. So that you're not burning any, like you're not burning yourself if you touch the shell. So it takes on the heat of the charcoal oh. that we're gonna add. I know, see, I learned that. Wow. wow. The incense resin we're gonna use is Irie A. <laughs> A. So they come in little things like this. You put the salt on the abalone shell, look. And then you're gonna get the charcoal and we're gonna get the charcoal. I did this last night for the first time ever in life at my house and it scared the shit out of me. In your room. Yeah. So, you light the charcoal, but look how va chispear. Or it did last night. Maybe because I have espiritus in my house. Stop saying that. You wanna sleep over? <laughs> no. Light, bro. There you go. Oh, See, there it is. that shit happened last night. It scared the crap out of me. It looks pretty though. Yeah. And then you're supposed to put the like the resin stuff on top of it, and then there there goes your incense. See, and it smells like olelo. It smells like the earth. Oh yeah. <laughs> it smells like earth. And then the last thing you do is light a candle. Now see, because of the salt, I can touch this shell and it's not crazy hot. And so you just walk it around the room like you did the sage.
I think I'm just gonna leave it burning. 